Hey everyone, I'm um, back with another vinyl video for you guys. So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to show off some stuff that I picked up, um, mostly all today, and then I'm going to end it with a nice personal message for two people. Um, first of all, bringing it back. Everyone, you guys have been seeing this maybe from a couple different videos. We're going to start a new community called the Cassette Tape Community. See how that goes. The CT, CTC. But uh, here's what we got. Interesting. So I sent Zach recently a mixtape like this too. Not one I made myself, but um, if I see a mixtape that's in a, in a thrift store that has enough appeal for me, I'll check it out. This only had three names on the front, and then it says Happy Birthday. The artist's names are Valen Wider, Duter, and Ricky Lee, who I'm assuming is Ricky Lee Jones, and I was really a fan because of this. I think it's a really cool cover. So that's what I'm playing right now. Um, you never know, right? You might find a new artist. Valen Wider is a Swiss, Swiss musician um, who's still around, who does world music and jazz and new age and even classical. And the other guy is a new age guy as well. So we got Wider and Duder. First time listening, too. <clears throat> now today, and um, I picked up stuff at Lunchbox Records. We got here, cassette tape. Phyllis Hyman. This is, um, it's a posthumous release, but it's really her last release of her material that she made before the next last record they put out of hers was um, material that was gathered. And this is uh, I Refuse to Be Lonely. Sort of sad because you can sort of see where she was heading with her suicide from that stuff. Another great one for the books. Um, this is the first record from Cannon Crows, August and Everything After. No but you guys, but I am a huge, huge Cannon Crows fan. And that's to this day. I actually I like this record, but I actually like a lot of a lot of re later records. Actually, um, this Desert Life is my personal favorite, but Kevin Cross is where it's at for sure. Adam Duris is the man; they're amazing live. Um, so these are the vinyls I picked up today. I'm just going out well. People can see this well, but just a little bit lower, just in case. More about the vinyls than it is about me, right? So, this is a band called. Uh, by the way, you guys know none of these bit, none of these artists, with the exception of one silly one, which is fun, um, were people I ever knew, ever listened to. All right, um, Uncle Wiggly, Jump Back Baby. All right, this is actually a release from '94, I think it was. If I'm correct, sorry, '96, I think. No, no, '94. No, Recorded between the fall of '94 and spring '95. Released in '96 on Team Beat Records. Um, supposedly, they were a band from New York City, formed in 88, and um, it seems that these guys put out a couple different releases, and that this was the record where they were trying to hit more into the mainstream with their hooks and stuff, but when I listened to it to this now, I thought it sounded really great, so I'm glad I picked this up. Okay, this is a band called Quarter Flash. I really think the, the record sleeve is really cool looking with the guy, or the images of that one guy, um, has a, a guy singer as well as a girl singer, which is something I think is really cool to enjoy, trading off the vocals, so it reminds me of the Sonic Youth I was just listening to and getting into it the first time, um, really cool bass lines, I listened to only a track, violin, some violin work in here, and this was on um, Geffen, and it is from... 1981. Oh, I already showed you. This is my this is my new line for this. Guess who, whose record I found? All right. Only the most badass neighbor in the neighborhood. That's right. Mr. Rogers, you are special. And you know what's even more badass about this? This is record MRN 8103. You know what that stands for? Mr. Rogers Neighborhood Records. Man has owned a record label, son. Check this out. Has his neighborhood on it and everything. I just thought it was fun to have. It has lyrics in the back of it on the cover and everything. So, 
can't go wrong with this at a Goodwill 50 cents, right? This actually really impressed me. Um, this is, I never heard of these guys before. It seems like they're pretty well known, I think. Cabaret Voltaire. Alright. Um, now I'm called Microphonies. And it's just like electronic, synthy, techno pop stuff. And they started out more as a pop band, and they started getting into some other stuff, and this is like the later works. This is their sixth record. It's on Virgin. At least this pressing's on Virgin. And um, I just thought the record looked very, very, the sleeve looked very, very intriguing. This right here is um, John Butcher, Wishes. Never heard of the guy. Seem interesting. Some cool saxophone in here. And this is on Columbia? Pressing? Sorry, Capital, the rainbow label. John Butcher, Wishes. Zacky boy, check this out. You showed this, Zeke, in one of your videos, and they were like, man, I decided to pick it up, and I didn't say anything about it. I don't think I remember saying anything about it, but um, I always saw this in the Lunchbox Records for only a dollar, and I always seemed a little intrigued as well, but I never picked it up. So I went back to it thinking, like, this in mind, I want to get that record, Zach, that's really good. And I didn't even notice it had Jerry Garcia on the steel pedal, um, pedal steel guitar. So, I went ahead and got it. It's um, on Kama Sutra Records. Here you go. Distributed by Buddha. This is Tarkio Road, Brewer and Shipley. Is it Tarkio Road? This is Tarkio on the front. It's Brewer and Shipley, and it's, it's weird actually. It just says Tarkio, but then it says Tarkio Road in the label. So, is it Tarkio? Is it Tarkio Road? You tell me. Right, check out how, how awesome this is. I bought this because of the late their sleeve right away. It's their um, rock band called Point Blank. And I mean, who's not gonna buy that sleeve, right? And the back side, you got the the gun smoking being opened up. It's gonna be a rock band right here. As you can tell from the inner sleeve. These look like guys that be in point blank and they do not seem to be messing around, so be careful, they have a big shotgun that they all share. This I thought was really interesting. Um, I decided to get it, you know, I'm always looking for interesting Christian records, this one in particular. Um, this is on a record label called Diadem.dlp157. This is Tell Me a Story, Aunt B. Aunt Bertha and the Children's Bible Hour. And it has little pictures on the side here um, saying the titles of the stories. Tightrope Walker, The Golden Age, There Is One, Sorry Is As Sorry Is As Sorry Does. And it says in the history back here, Children's Bible Hour is a faith missionary ministry beamed at the hearts of the children. I'm going to skip a little bit. Um, had its first broadcast in November 1942. Now on the air for more than 20 years, it is living proof of God's miracle working power. And Bertha has been associated with the work since 1947. Um, yeah, and all this, all this, these stories are written, especially for Children's Bible Hour by Harry C. Trover. He's Aunt Bertha's brother, is an evangelist whom the Lord is using to win many souls, ministering in churches all over the land as the Lord directs. Um, let's see here in this record. Uh-oh, mixtape busting it out. This is also, it's, it's manufactured in Ontario. But I'm having trouble finding a year on here. But I'll jump it. Um, here you go. Aunt Bertha. Aunt Bertha. Aunt B. What's going on with Aunt B? That looks intriguing, right? That looks funny. That's a good record. Alright, now on to the messages. Special messages. Um... First of all, a little quicker note, I put this in the cassette tapes video from Memphis Vinyl Jim and the Misses. Let me know if you guys didn't catch this, if you didn't get to the video or not. Um, here is a vinyl copy of In Square Circle, alright? And I only paid $3 for it. It might have been cheaper if I got it on sale off the price it says. I have the tape version, and um, you know, 
It's great to have all Stevie's work, but I know a couple of these songs. I love the song La Land of Lala. I also love Overjoyed. And I also love Part Time Lover, the opening song. But, you know, I'd rather you have it. You know, the vinyl community has been doing a lot of good things for me in terms of really wanting to share and give stuff away. And it's just sort of becoming a thing where it's just taking a lot of um, selfish sides I might have thought maybe I had with my music and just throwing it out the window. So, this is for you guys. But do me a favor, give me a comment in this video and let me know if you want me to send this. I have other things that will be surprises for your next package that will be along the way sometime soon, but this will be the only one that won't be a surprise. Just let me know if you want it, and it's yours. If you want to take it. That way you can mark it off your calendar. Your book. Calendar. Um, and this one right here, check this out. I'm excited about this. Mark, Sam, um, what's it, Glass Orchid Math? Right? I could be saying it wrong, but Mark and Sam, you know you guys are. I'm going to put you guys right up here in the title you see right here. Um, you guys have a lot of videos. I really enjoy the stuff I see, but I haven't been able to always catch up and catch all of them, you know? And I was looking through and catching up on some of your posts today, which were really enjoyable, and then I saw your video about Folk Legacy Records, and I was like, oh my god, you know? And I first saw it when you had your vinyl post, um, vinyl mailbag from, from Wes, which was an amazing thing that he was able to find those 10 records for you guys. Um, ta -da! Sarah Ogan Gunning. Um, this is FSA 26. Um, this was very interesting, man. Really funny. I actually picked this up for my girlfriend Mary one day. I just wanted to get her something nice. I got it for only four dollars, and then I um, she it just she was just like, yeah, it's more up your alley than it is mine because it's just just singing, no music, just this woman singing. Look at my earlier posts, and you'll see two videos, one that shows three of these songs playing consecutively on the vinyl, and the other one showing the words in the back of the sleeve. So, I know you probably haven't gotten around to my videos, which is understandable. Check the earlier ones and you'll see this on here. Now, let me know if you want this. I will tell you one thing. Um, I have no problem getting this out to you in some time, and you can just mark it off your calendar. Why do I keep saying calendar? I'm retarded. I guess calendar's more popular. Off your list. But, um, with the blog and everything, the thing about this is that I think it's warped, and what I've noticed uh, since I'm newer to violence is that the warpedness is when it's a little bit of like a, a wavy in the record, and then like, you know, it has a little sound where it goes around and it goes, whoosh, 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 and then it sort of fades out when you go closer to the inside of the record. It has that on here, okay? And I've seen from the other records you've shown that it's on the best shape on the bottom here, you know? But, um... If it's more about the music for you and the collection than just having the perfect condition, if you don't mind having it, it still sounds fine. It's just a little bit of war at the beginning. Um, if you want this, let me know. Send me a message, and I will definitely would love to be a part of your um, of your uh, your little <coughs> little year quest for getting these records. It, would, it makes me feel special playing a part in that. I really was happy to be able to do this. So let me know if you want this, even if it's in the quality it's in. And if you do, leave me a message, and it will be yours. Leave it in the comments. And guys, that's my post for today. Hope you guys are having a good Monday. Enjoy the start to your week. Um, still waiting to hear back from Wells Fargo, since today was a three-day weekend for President's Day. But I will get back to you once I know. Take care. Enjoy the new age mixtape. Let's call the mixtape hearts.